So right now we're standing about a thousand uh, feet downstream from a drainage ditch area from the former K-25 plant. Um, the goal of this particular project was to clean the area of this creek bank uh, where the ditch itself had drained into the pop into Poplar Creek during, uh, during operation of the facility. We looked at a couple different ways to do it. Uh, one of the easiest ways would have been to dig down the side of the hill to it. Uh, that would have required moving about 8,000 cubic yards of uh, clean soil out of the way. That's a big disturbance and a lot of restoration. So in looking at other methods that we could use, uh, we decided to go with a barge base approach. The U-Core piece of this was everything around uh, the Sevenson work. Sevenson provided the barge and the equipment. Uh, the personnel who are used to working on the barge, uh, they actually did the physical removal and packaging of the soils and the restoration of the areas. UCOR did the, the engineering, the planning, the construction of the barge launch where we're standing right now uh, in preparation for the work to, uh, to, and then supported disposition of the waste containers that were generated during the uh, excavation uh, and helped demobilize and mobilize all the equipment onto site. Uh, it was a new effort for us. There was a lot of work put into it from different groups. Our engineering group supported us, our waste group supported us. Work planning was extensive on this because it was new for UCOR. Uh, we put a lot of time into that. Uh, the planning period ran about three or four months. The work itself ran just a little over a week. Uh, about 10 cubic yards of material was removed and dispositioned. Uh, it will be disposed of as uh, hazardous or as radioactive hazardous waste at Energy Solutions uh, here within the next month or so as we wrap up uh, the overall project. By our standards, it, it's not a very large remediation by any means. However, it carried the potential for a lot of risks given that it was bordering Poplar Creek. And so as we were developing Task Order 3 and planning through how we wanted to execute that. One of the things that I looked at with the Heritage Center leadership was bringing in UCOR's majority parent company, Amentum's mentor protege with Sevenson Environmental Services. Now, while Sevenson isn't widely known across the Department of Energy Environmental Management Complex, they are a very well respected industry leader for environmental remediation for the Army Corps of Engineers, the Department of Defense, various FUSRAT projects, and Superfund cleanup. And so as we were looking through uh, how we wanted to go execute this, we quickly realized that Sevenson brought a lot to the table. We keep hearing from DOE EM leadership that they would like to see new businesses and organizations come into our industry to bring value uh, and different methods and means of doing things. And this is a prime example of where UCOR, through our parent company, reached out to an industry leader, Sevenson, to bring a new tool into our toolbox that was used for this cleanup and will be used for future task orders.